Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for all of the, you know, the comments and the nice DMs and emails you've given me about my first video. And you guys seem to really like that content, so if you want to see more vlogs, make sure to go to that video and thumbs it up just so I know. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing so much video content in 2018 and I don't want you to miss any of it, so hit the subscribe button down below and tell a friend. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I figured since I'm just getting started on YouTube and video is like a whole new world that a lot of you might follow me here that either came from the blog and you watch some of the videos but you might only be on YouTube. I wanted to make sure I introduced myself to this community too just so we can get to know each other better or if you're a new blog follower and you haven't known me for that long and you haven't really gotten to know me as a person I thought this would be a good way to just sit down one-on-one -on -one. I'm on the floor in my room just like hanging out and we can get to know one each other stress-free no pressure. So let's just jump into it. I have my phone and I found a few tags online. Question one, what's your middle name? My middle name is Shanice and when I was in like elementary school I used to get made fun of all the time because my mom spelled it S-H-A-N-E-I-C-E and people would always tell me my middle name was spelled wrong because I guess they think it should be S-H-A-N-I-E-C-E but I think it's fine. Share your favorite subject in high school. Mine was English by far. I've never been a math and science girl. I've always been all about reading and writing. Um, I loved doing book reports, just getting to analyze characters and plots and themes and learning new words. I used to be so nerdy about vocab tests. I love when we had to go through books and try to figure out what words meant based on just like the context of a chapter. Okay, that's enough nerdiness for one video. What's your favorite drink? I think. If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably going to say that it's coffee, and I don't think you're wrong. I, I've i always been a huge coffee drinker just because my dad's a huge coffee drinker, and it was kind of like a bond thing I had with him. Have you participated in any sports? <laughs> I'm not athletic. What's your favorite color? My favorite color to wear is probably black just because it goes with everything, and I feel like it makes you just look way more put together than you actually are but my favorite color in general is like a, a light like a lilac purple a little bit gray in there I've always loved purple when I was younger my bedroom was painted purple I totally stopped counting questions so I guess we're just gonna go until it feels like a good place to stop what's your favorite holiday my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving my younger sister was actually supposed to be born on Thanksgiving but she was born like a week before. Have you ever been out of the country? I haven't but I'm hoping that in the next two years I get to travel way more. Last year I went to all for work. I went to Miami, New Orleans, and California. This month I'm going to Las Vegas for a friend's birthday and I'm hoping to get a few more domestic trips on the calendar in 2018 and then hopefully 2019 I'll be able to do a European venture. I would love to go to Scotland, London, Paris, Milan, Barcelona, Greece. There are a lot of places I want to see. There are some places I've read about too in books. I read a lot of books. I think that reading so much has inspired me to want to travel more and even travel by myself. Do you have any siblings? I have two sisters, one older and one younger. And I think out of the three of us, I am the most sane. They probably disagree. <laughs> what is your favorite store so i love paper source i'm always buying way too many planners notebooks pens stationery bookmarks post-its i like to keep things as organized as i can and part of that for me is writing myself like a million notes a million post-its so i go to paper source a lot how many questions has it been i don't know who are some of your favorite youtubers i watch a lot of booktube videos i love books and lala and I'll link everyone who I mentioned right now in the description. I love Amory's channel. I think it's a great mashup of lifestyle videos and booktube content, which is kind of what I'm hoping to do on this channel. I watch Eric Conover's channel a lot, and I think he does really amazing content. Like, if you start watching his first videos, his videos now, just at how much he's learned and developed as a YouTuber is pretty awesome. Some bloggers who I really like on YouTube, I think that Carly from 
Carly the Prepster does a good job with balancing her YouTube and blog content. I think Grace at the Stripe also does a really good job of this. She puts a lot of effort and work into her blog and her social media and so now that she's on YouTube I think she's doing an incredible job and she's one of the people that really pushed me to just take the plunge and start recording for YouTube. I definitely should have written down my answers to these questions like before I started recording this. And the last question I'm going to answer is, do you have a favorite book? So whenever anyone asks me for a book recommendation, I always recommend The Alchemist. I think it is such an easy to read, quick book that's well written and it's so positive and uplifting. And I try to read it at the start of every year. I'm probably going to read it in the next couple of days. Especially when you're doing things online, we spend so much time comparing ourselves and consuming other content that it, it's it's easy to feel like you don't have what it takes to do what you want to do. And I think that that book does a great job of bringing things back into perspective. I also always advocate for reading Harry Potter. I just reread the full series last year and I can't wait to read it again. I think that, you know, they're children's books, but they really are more young adult adult books in my opinion you've seen the movies or not and if you haven't i don't understand how but whether or not you've been a fan for a while or you're just trying harry potter for the first time it's an easy way to get into reading that will encourage you to try other things like if you've never read a fantasy novel before i think that harry potter is a great entryway series and it'll keep you busy for a while because there are seven books and the last three are each over like 600 pages. If you're interested in everything else that I'm reading, I will link my Goodreads account down below. I also do monthly reading wrap ups on my blog and I will link that as well in the description box. All right, so that's it for my new to YouTube tag. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.